Hey everybody, welcome to the Random Game on Shrinking. If you're new to this channel, one of the things I like to do is take old games that haven't been opened before, usually sealed PC games, open them up, see what's inside for posterity, and then check out some actual gameplay. So if that sort of thing interests you, you're not already subscribed to the channel, please go ahead and subscribe now and hit the notification icon so you can be notified the next time I do a video like this, which is pretty often. The game I have for today is called Aliens vs. Predator, and this was released in 1999 for Windows and was a, a classic game at the time. It's a first-person shooter that takes place in both the Aliens and the Predator universes. I guess a crossover between them. Here's a nice gatefold cover of the box over here. And you can, you can be either an alien or a Predator or a Colonial Marine, any of those three, and then basically fight the other ones. So, I mean, obviously aliens and Predators have a lot bigger advantages. I mean, I think the Predators are actually hunters, so they probably have the biggest advantage. But uh, the humans can play as well. Just, uh, you know, you got guns and stuff like that. I think it's a little bit harder. Like I said, this was like a super classic game when it came out. It's funny, it's, it's a game so scary. We're giving you a free pair of underwear while supplies last. But I think you have to mail away for the underwear. So uh, I don't think it's inside this box, unfortunately. <laughs> you had to go apply for it a while ago, and it's not there anymore. 3D accelerator card required, another sticker. There's a little a remnant of an inventory control sticker on the back here on the side the bottom. The game is sealed with these sticker seals because it has the gatefold cover. It could not be shrink-wrapped. But with those, you never know if it's really original or not because it's so easy just to take a new sticker seal and put it on top here. And recently I opened one where it was not original, apparently. So hope this one is. But let's check it out and see what's inside. Like I said, it's supposed to be a... a I never actually played this, but it's supposed to be an amazing classic shooter game. So I'm looking forward to trying it out. So I got my big kahuna knife here. I'm just going to make a quick incision really easily on the sticker. There we go. Done. Let's open this up. See what we got in here. This looks a little more promising than the last one I opened, which, whoops, I already lost something here. What is this? It's some kind of aliens predator trading card. And we have the high educator. I don't know who that is, but okay. Aliens vs. Predator value booklet. It sounds like a catalog. Yeah. <laughs> Get a mouse pad for $2.99. Add for the game. Sound blaster cards. Sweepstakes. Strategy guide. Aliens tactics. Marines tactics. Predator tactics. How to play online. Apparently that was a huge thing was playing this game online. We got a little registration card. Fox Interactive, nothing too exciting here. Then there's a jewel case size manual. It's a little bit worn here. Hmm, that's not a great sign. It's worn a little bit all over. So I wonder if it's used. But let's let's hold on for a second before we look at that. I want to see what else is in here. There's an ad for Sci-Fi Pinball. I've seen that, but I have no idea what it is. Also, Fangoria and Starlog magazines. There's well a lot of cart, lot of stuff. Multiplayer addendum for Aliens vs Predator. How to play on mplayer.com, whatever that is. Obviously that's the defunct. Oh, here's the voucher for the free pair of underwear. <laughs> Fortunately expires September 1999, so uh, that's not going to happen. We have an ad for PC Gamer Magazine, which was a really great... It's still around, but not as great, I don't think, as it was. But it's still a good magazine. Pretty cool. CD-ROM edition. Wow, there's still more stuff in here. Are you Predator or Prey? Falcon Game PCs make the difference. So an ad for Falcon Gaming PCs. And the jewel case is in there. But it's like sort of wedged in pretty good. You gotta take the whole box out or open it from the bottom to get at it. All right, so the jewel case is sealed. So that's a good sign. I mean, that's obviously the game itself is unused. It must have been that this manual was like at least slightly too thick to fit inside, or I don't know what. Why they put a separate insert here? That's sort of dumb. But all right, let's look at the manual first. So oh, it's a full color manual. Installation instructions, main menu, single player. Weapons and stuff, abilities for aliens, predators, difficulty levels, different enemies, Q 
keys, lock, key commands, options, credits. All right, so pretty comprehensive. And notes, again, who, who writes in here? I don't know who, who uses that. All right, the actual jewel case is sealed. Let's see if I can get it open. Let me use the knife. There we go. Not always so easy to get these things open. I don't know why, but whatever. I feel like I'm always opening these things. <laughs> Two CDs, it says. Okay. So we have disc number one. Looks good. Obviously, it was sealed. I mean, you could reseal them too, but a little bit more of a pain to reseal a jewel case like that. Disc two looks good. And then again, there's an insert here. I don't know why. I'll probably try to see if I can stick this thing in here as well, because, like, why not? It sort of fits. But anyway, that's it, it, what's inside Aliens vs. Predator. A lot of little catalogs and stuff. Too bad I cannot get the free pair of underwear anymore. What am I trying to call them up? I wonder if this company's even in existence. I never heard of big dogs, but who knows? <laughs> but anyway, without further ado, let's check out the actual game. All right, so here we have Aliens vs. Predator on PC. Starts off with the intro here, intro music, and uh, weird like 21st Century Fox music, but then it morphs into something else for Rebellion Entertainment, I guess, I don't know. Now this game was very difficult to get to run on a modern PC. Basically you have two choices. Choice one is you can go buy something called Alien vs. Predator Classic 2000 from GOG or Steam, that will do it for you. But if you want to actually use the original CD, there's a patch you can download, a fan patch, called AVPX, made by some guy who used the original source code, which uh, which these guys release at some point. So that's what I'm running right now, the AVPX, and I'll put some information in the description how to get that to run. I'll pick my profile, pick single player. There's three choices here. You can be the alien, the marine, or the predator. The first time I tried as the marine, since I am a human in real life, but it's really hard. I couldn't even see anything. It was so dark, even with the gamma cranked way up. So I decided to just play the Predator at least for, so, you, so you guys can see what this game is like. I still have the gamma cranked way up, frankly, but at least you can, it's playable. If you have a choice between basically easy, medium, or hard, so I'll pick the realistic, which is the medium difficulty. Now we have a little intro, very short intro cutscene to the Predator's world, stalking his human prey. Pretty short, though. This guy's toast. From what I understand, it's actually, you know, the Predator or the Alien are much easier to play as than the human because they're just much tougher, <laughs> which makes sense. Although, obviously, there could be a lot of humans ganging up on an Alien or a Predator, but if you saw the movies, I mean, it's quite, it takes quite a lot to take one of these guys down. All right, press A key to continue. All right, so I'm the Predator right now. Uh, this probably you can use a gamepad or whatnot, but the way it's configured, at least by default, the mouse moves around, the arrow keys move forward and back and left to right to strafe, and if I press dot, it turns on my, uh, basically my camouflage. Everything became a little bit hazy, but now they can't see me as easily. There was a guy down there before. I guess he's not there anymore. So the idea is trying to sneak up on people if possible, although the Predator makes these clanking noises, so I don't know how easy that is, but... There we go. But basically, I'm slicing this guy to pieces before he can even, like, raise the alarm or anything. Even though he's screaming. There's another guy in there, but I don't know, like, how you how, how they see you sometimes. So he saw me and he's shooting me. I'm not sure, like, what I did that made him see me. If he's just looking for his partner and therefore he's more alert. But I can still, like, move around a little bit without them knowing where I am. Unit 2, report in. Report in, Unit 2. I think I decapitated that guy. There's another guy coming. He's running after me. It's hard to control this thing. Uh, like I'm not used to the controls. Really, it's not, it's not that it's hard to control. I'm not used to. It. I think he saw me. I'm turning around and see if I can come back. I'm not really good at this game. You can tell, but uh, yeah, there he is. Okay, come on. I mean, like, he saw me, but, like, I was right on top of him, so... I guess that my health is, I think, the red, and the blue is, uh... I think my energy for my cloak. 
at the bottom of the stairs here, there's a crazy guy, like, just shooting, running around like a nutcase, and shooting his machine gun in all directions. He killed me a couple times, just because of the fact he's just shooting a machine gun around. He may kill me this time, too. There's some way to take him out, but I'm not really sure what it is, necessarily. I mean, he's, like, literally just running around screaming. That's probably what I would do in this situation, to be fair. I'd just be running around going, ah! I got him that time. He took out like like three quarters of my health. <laughs> One time I took him out, but like I knocked out the power in this room. Anyway, you get the idea. I mean, like, you're the predator. You're pretty tough. I took out my cloak now. But, you know, there's no Arnold Schwarzenegger in this game as far as I know. Or like Carl Weathers or anything like that. Oh, there's another one of these guys. And I, they're pretty scared of you. <laughs> Which is sort of fun, actually. Ah! Alright, he got me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not very good at this. You get the idea, though. It's a fun thing, and then, you know, it's a fun game, basically. Um, it, it requires a lot of practice. I'd probably need, like, a, go a game pad or a joystick to do this properly. But you get the idea. And as an alien, obviously, it's a completely different campaign. As a human, it's a completely different campaign. So it's really three different games in one, almost. But I, I enjoy being a predator and having these guys screaming like nutcases. It's just, two, report in. just enjoyable. Report in, unit two. <laughs> anyway, if you play this game, I'm curious what you guys think about this. If you've played this before, if you have any tips for what's the right way to play it, or you know what's the fun way to play it, or if you haven't played it, let me know what you think. But I think it's a pretty popular game, like at least at the time it was, probably somewhat famous. There's also a version of this for the Jaguar, but it's a completely different game. Oh, by the way, I don't have to use my my spikes that I'm using right now. I also have, like, some other weapons. If I can figure out how to use them. Yeah, I have, like, a gun here. I just shot this guy with a gun. But I'm, they're all ganging up on me because I don't know what I'm doing, so... <laughs> anyway, please uh, like and subscribe if, if you like this video. And, uh, you know, let me know what you think. And I'm dead again. Alright, well, that was fun. I'm going to play some more. Have a great day, everybody.